be a fan. I hope you're a fan. I hope you're a fan of the show, actually, if you're listening. Hi. Thank you. I know there's a couple of you guys are regular listeners, gals, whatnot. Um, and I appreciate that. We had a conversation on Indie, Indie Mayhem Show this week about uh, being a wrestling fan, being a fan for your thing. Um, and I was also, uh, you probably saw on, on the social media, the websites, I think I mentioned it earlier this week on this show, um, I had an appearance over on uh, River River Talk over on riversedgepgh.com, a great streaming radio thing that the awesome cast is now part of. And we talked about social media, we talked about a lot of things, and and um, I did get a good message from, uh, I hope I connected this right the way this came through, but my good friend Doug, Dougie Doug, um, uh, hit me up and said, uh, uh, you know, hey, you know, great enthusiasm with that. I hope I'm probably paraphrasing that. It's buried. It, it's buried in a slack somewhere under under uh, or, Oreo fault pictures, um, which are, by the way, fantastic, and, and, and I'm hungry now. Um don't eat Oreos at one o'clock in the morning. It's bad news. Um, but anyways, but you want to be a fan, and I thought about that, and I thought about like that kind of mention of that, and I, I went into that interview, and I didn't really know what the heck we we're going to talk about. To be honest, I didn't know what questions he's going to ask. I'm like, yeah, it's fine. You know, I, I I can pretty much off the cuff of it. And a lot of times when I'm having you know these these coffee meetings with people, and I kind of end up telling my story, you know, a little bit of, of what's, what's kind of motivating me and what my kind of pipe dreams are of where to go with a silly little podcast thing and video production and being an entrepreneur. I, I still can't say it. I, I, I choke on my words when I say that to myself. Um, entrepreneur. Uh, yeah, no, see, that's where it comes out. and just sounds like a dick. Um, but, um, but 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 I, I I think you know a little bit of that conversation with the Indie Mayhem show. We're talking about being a fan of wrestling and the way we talk about things as fans instead of some kind of analytical pundit, right? And and I think there's enough of that out there, and everybody's trying to emulate that that they see. You know, um, I, I I watch the people on ESPN who talk about this hockey thing that's happening. Uh, and, and, and they're really kind of analyzing it and tell you how that you should be feeling about that. And now that I'm going to go do a podcast and, and, and talk in that vein and, and monkey see monkey do, but what's wrong with just going and talking about hockey as a hockey fan. Um, I'm excited, so excited and feel that energy from the guys with the Lucha underground podcast on our network on wrestling mayhem show so much. Apparently that ex- ex- excitement is permeated that the co-executive producer of the show has, has, has gained attention from it has, has, you know, uh, uh, taken notice to it and helped kind of get the word out there about it. Um, and that's amazing. Just absolutely amazing. But you know, I listen to the entire, you know, I listen to more episodes of them talking about the show then I watched the show they're talking about last season. That's where we're at with that. And I think that's awesome. I hope, and this is again, it's something that I, the people have reiterated to me on these shows with the, with the awesome cast with the wrestling ma'am show. I, I we're fans talking about something. The enthusiasm, John, John Miller in, in my Facebook live stream is telling me enthusiasm. Good. You know, get that out there. Right. Uh, and, 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 and that's why I hope with these, you know, I, I, I don't plan these. I, these are, if it's not painfully obvious, um, these are the things I'm enthusiastic about. And that comes out. People, people feel that, um, to quote something that I was, uh, just jokingly quoted in the chat room a little bit ago, I'm forcing you to feel this. Um, and, and, and hopefully you are, maybe not everybody you don't, just don't agree with me. You don't, you don't know, like the way I talk. Um, for 10 minutes uh, every day or, 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 or something like that, you know, I, that, that's fine. But for those that do, um, you know, it kind of struck, strikes an even even bigger nerve for you. I, I hope I hope that's what's happening. Um, that's what I'm counting on, at least, right? Um, and it's authentic. It's authentic. Uh, and, and I think that's, that's really important, um, not just, like, as a podcaster, I think it's definitely important as a podcaster, um, even if you're not the greatest talker. I, there's a couple, there's a couple shows I listen to, and and I listen to them, and and these guys are not the greatest radio on the mic people. I don't consider myself either, uh, you know, in, in comparison to a lot of these guys, you know, and 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 
but they're so it doesn't matter because they're so into the, what they're talking about and are having so much fun that now I'm having fun. You're talking about that with pro wrestling as well. Um, some of the people uh, uh, on, on the big show are just doing the goofiest thing possible. And it's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. But you're completely on board because you're like, that guy's having fun. And now I am too. And it just you, you, it, it, it resonates through. I think when you're having meetings, and it's a problem. A lot of you guys are having meetings out there and you're in a, in a, in a company and you're just there because that's your job right but i think when you move to a point where you're at a job you're creating a job as we've talked about also this week um and you're meeting these people and you're authentically saying you know um getting into what you're excited about and maybe to a to a fault that's like oh that guy's way too excited about this stuff um and i know myself i'm i'm Far too honest to a fault, so to the point where maybe I need somebody to come along with me so I'm not making business decisions when I'm excited about something. That's a problem, uh, and I should cool down and step back and then make the decision. Uh, but again, uh, that excitement is hopefully what people are walking away with, you know, and seems to be the thing that people are coming back at me after I've just talked to them about things. I, we had. This week, uh, uh, somebody on uh, that, that I met at a coffee shop, a coffee, uh, uh, open coffee, excuse me. Um, and we've had this conversation, you know, uh, she talked about how I, I just started talking about pro wrestling. I end up talking about pro wrestling because it's just that's where everything comes from, as we've discussed multiple times. And and how just doing that and digging that has turned into all this other stuff. And that's turned into them checking our other podcast about tech. Maybe she's not a wrestling fan. Um, and contributing to it in, in meaningful ways. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And I'm hoping that's the kind of thing that we're replicating over and over again. One fan at a time, they say, right? Um, and, and the fans are not just people that go tune into my podcast. I have no motivation, you know. Uh, I, 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 for anything, when, when I go to these things, I just want to meet cool people and, and have good conversations with people and learn about new stuff that they're doing and see cool stuff other people do. Maybe learn something from them, right? Um, but I don't go in trying to say, hey, please listen to my podcast. Hey, don't you want me to do a video for you? I'd love to eventually, but that's not the initial conversational thing. Versus a, a, an event that uh, I, I heard through the Gary Fine that was a lot of people just wanting you to know what they did and get their business card. And that was it. Ugh. Ugh. That's disgusting when they described it to me. No. Uh, it's, it's... Whenever I go to something like that, like these, these open coffee clubs for Alpha Lab, they say, well, what, 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 what are you doing here? And I say, I'm a, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of startups. I'm an enthusiast. If I didn't have a business behind me, I might have felt I might feel a little goofier, but I would find a reason to go down there anyways, right? If I was just the dude that did that did uh, videos for for you know a, a video house that had nothing to do with startups and technology, I would go anyways if I could because damn it, I love the, I love seeing what these companies are doing out of these these incubator, incubators in town. I maybe not quite as much, but I'm pro probably no, 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 no. I, I'm actually more. I'm thinking about it. I'm probably about as big a fan as seeing tech companies doing real stuff in Pittsburgh as I am as pro wrestling. And I'm also going to pro wrestling shows that I don't work for. It's because I love the pro wrestling and I want to see it, even if it isn't the biggest thing in the area, even if it is not quite the biggest, craziest thing you've ever seen. It's wrestling, and I can't get enough of it. Tech news, tech stuff in Pittsburgh, I can't get enough of it. And I hope, uh, and I think that's the thing I want people to remember, is the thing I'm excited about, and if they're not yet, I hope they're, a little more excited about it when I'm done with them. 
Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're excited about. Sorgatron.com. See you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.